Good morning, Calvary Chapel, Murfreesboro. Though it may not seem like it at first glance, this verse is a verse of hope. Though it speaks of chastisement and scourging, the purpose is love. God brings us into close communion with him and remakes us in the image of his son. This is a verse of tenderness and reassurance and compassion, reminding us that when we are going through the hard times administered by God, that even in occasions where perhaps we've sinned, like David did with Bathsheba, and there are consequences associated with that, that the Lord will pick us up again, that the Lord will deliver us, maybe not from death and certainly not from suffering, but he will deliver us from the fear of loneliness, from no relationship, for having to face the world on our own. He will never leave us or forsake us. He chastises and corrects and rebukes when we've gone astray because he loves us so tenderly. And even in the occasions where it's not a rebuke or a chastisement, he's just putting us through hard times. Though we've done no wrong per se to deserve it, he still loves us and it is for love that he allows or in some cases directly administers a type of suffering that we would sooner do without. Do not take it as a sign of neglect or worse yet, hostility. For the Lord loves you and he has good plans for you. And in, this, in the season of discipline, I beg you to bend the knee and the head and let God pick you up again. God bless everyone. See you next week.